Welcome back everyone, Crummy That Archer here, time for some more Project Zomboid. So we have just returned from our little excursion to learn how to make these things work. And I suppose we should clean the area out because we're gonna have to deal with a... We're gonna have to walk back and forth between our house and the um, gas station right here a few times in the near future. So let's make sure this is, immediate vicinity is clear. Which it should be relatively easy to clear out. Or maybe it's clear already. I remember driving past some zombies, but I guess... I guess they're further away than I thought. Okay. So the question becomes for me is where you attach the generator. Is it to the straight to the gas pump? Or is it to like the gas station near the gas pump? I guess we'll find out. Alright, so let me get this. Take generator. Am I still carrying any gas? It's an empty gas can. Appears to be the answer is no, but we'll just take it over here. I'm excited about this because if this works, I believe these the gas pumps are basically infinite. When they're not, when they're activated. Nope, that's not how you put it down. Just put it down like this. Does it just need to be close or does it have to be actually touching? I don't know, let me go. Grab some actual gas for it. Also, don't really know how long. Like, on a single gas can, how long does a generator run? It's another question I don't know the answer to. Just want to make sure there's no empty gas cans around. Get these. Okay, I should probably should clean up some of these bodies. That'd be worthwhile. All right, add fuel. Turn on. Alright, so that's apparently not working. Disconnect. Or there was some sort of thing that would tell you where it was connected to. This does not seem to be working. Seem to be doing something wrong here. Alright, take generator. Fits right here. Just trying to figure it out. We'll trial and error. Nope. All right. All right. So I think let me go ahead and look this up. 
All right, I haven't found anything, but the one thing I'm going to do here is I wonder if I need to power the actual station itself. So if I put this here, place your safe house container requires like to do not operate indoors. Yeah, connect generator. Maybe it's all considered one thing. So that should, in theory, have turned on this guy, right? Yes. All right, work for that. Apparently did not turn on the pumps, which is super annoying. Yeah. I'm apparently missing something here. I'm, I'm pretty sure I remember them adding it. <laughs> I, d I know there's a mod for it, but I could have sworn that they added it to the game. Let's try this one more time here. Well, we have a ton of gas, so it's not like it's going to turn and run out anytime soon. Nope. Okay. Well, I have to do some more research into this apparently, because I don't know. I tried to do a relatively quick Google search to, to find it, and I didn't find it, so. And I don't have the time. I mean, I have the time. I don't want, you guys don't want to sit and watch me just poke at this for the entire episode, so. We're going to work under the assumption that there's some way to fix it, and we don't know what it is, so. They last a pretty long time. I did find that out. They were it uses one percent of the one percent of its fuel an hour, which is you know pretty good, pretty long time to keep the generator running. So if I were to turn this on, just make sure this is working the way I want it to. These lights work now. Hey, look at that. And the refrigerators making things cold. So that's pretty cool. We now can do that, but I'm gonna turn that off for now because we don't really have anything that we need to keep cool. Next time we have a crop that comes up, then we'll think about tur turning the generator on. Put these here. All right, it's getting late-ish. I should make sure that the bags that I dropped out here doesn't, doesn't have my food, the little bit of food that I have remaining in it. I don't think it does. I think we, I think we actually successfully used up all that food. I'm kind of proud of us for. All right, we got it unload this, but I think I might do that on my own time and not when you guys are watching. Or maybe. We'll see. In the meantime, we'll do a quick one. Alright, so, electronic stuff. That goes there. That goes there. That goes there. Aluminum. to trigger all right that all goes there also our um, these all these seeds that I picked up need to go on this one just take the rest of this stuff and put it in the other bag all 
charcoal. Add that to the pile over here. Seeds, more empty gas cans. Fishing line can go in this one too. All right. Rope, propane torches, glue, wire, screwdrivers, metal bits. Oh, I missed a little bit of aluminum. We gotta wait till he's done moving this stuff before we can mess with it though. Put it on over, my friend. All right, aluminum and strawberry seeds I forgot to put outside. Open the door, damn it. All right, box of nails goes in here. That's pretty much good enough in terms of stuff we gotta put away. All right, so let's eat half a box of macaroni and cheese. I think I officially don't have, no, it looks like we haven't finished the fishing. We have full boost on everything but fishing, it looks like. So yes, let's just read this book. Which we have like almost no pages left in. Done. Alright. I'm just gonna I'm just running this day out, by the way. We're gonna hold off till tomorrow to do anything else, so just burn off the rest of the day. There's the sleepiness. Hello, my old friend. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Yep, getting bored. And hungry. How's my weight these days? 79. That's pretty good. Sleep. Almost two months, look at that. One month, 29 days. Go team. All right, I think it's time to do some zombie cleaning. And I mean that in two ways. I mean cleaning up some of these zombies here and cleaning up the immediate vicinity of zombies. Because we passed a bunch on the drive-in here, so we're gonna go down here and deal with it, I think. There they are. Looks like some sort of meta noise has got them moving. past us. Someone in the comments was suggesting that I move the move the fishing traps to this fishing this pond, which is probably a good idea, so maybe we'll do that in a minute after we do a little more zombie cleanup here. Oh, there you are. Pistol. I should tell you that I'm going to be on vacation starting in a couple of days. So I'm building up the old backlog right now. So any suggestions you have will not be acted upon for quite a while. Also my responsiveness with comments is probably less than usual. There. 
Some of them walked past us. Let's go see. Some of you are here. Is that it? Thought there would be more. Yes, there are. Hello. Come on to this field. Otherwise, I'm just gonna have to clean up your bodies later. Alright. Annotated map of what? Moldrow? Seemed clear around here. Death house. Spiffos. Yep. I don't need that. Alright, just for the fun of it, we're gonna dig some more graves, I think. If I can remember where I, what I did with my shovel. In here? Shovel. There we go. No, oh, this isn't really the necessary. You could just kind of, you know, do other stuff to get rid of these bodies, but why not? Nope, not the. That's not the button I want. Nope. Suppose we should focus on the ones that are problematic, the ones that are on the road over here. I can I could do this all right click based, but it seems to be faster to do it this way. I wonder if I can dig a grave in the pavement. Seems like that would require a No, I can't, okay. <laughs> so it seems like that would require some specialized tools that we do not have. Full. Buried corpse. Grabbed a corpse. Buried a corpse. Just really these, just these two are the one, the only ones that are really left in the road. I suppose we could pick up this trash too if we wanted. This is mostly for car protection, right? So that they don't roll over them and get the little tiny little chip bits of damage that happen when you roll into things. There's no more. Yeah. Grab the corpse. Bury the corpse. Oh, it's raining. All right, Barry. Done. All right. That was just a short. I would say it's still raining. I was gonna say that's just a short little shower, but it just it was raining real hard there for a second, then it slowed down. I want this one to fill. I like seeing all my things fill here. Might be time to do another round of um, boiling water. Eat these sunflower seeds. Should probably check around this back area as well. Shovel right there. Oh, 
Oh, we were gonna move those traps, right? That's right. I remember now. So let's go do that. I'm sure there'll be zombies to kill along the way. It's not dramatically shorter, like the distance between where we have our traps now and the other pond. But it's close enough. But it's probably for the best that we move it. Trap, 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 trap. There it is. Check trap. Here's trap. Old bait fish. Oh, that one broke. I think we can. I'm pretty sure you. I think you repair them with wire. I think that's why it says get wire back, which we have. So we'll try that in a minute. One thing at a time, though. Yeah, a little bit closer, but not by much. Seven little bait fish. Imagine it'll break real fast. Like these things will go bad real fast. Alright, uh, I was gonna do, I was gonna find wire, which I think we have in here. So it says get wire back, but it doesn't say... Maybe that's a higher level trapping situation? Make fishing trap. Oh, we need twine. We need twine and wire. Do we have any twine? We do have twine. Maybe not enough. Ten units of twine, we must not have enough. Thread. Apparently thread's not good enough. Might be twine. In fact, there probably is twine at the hardware store nearby, so let's go check that out. Padlock battery, screws, nails. And pretty much every time I go in here, somebody leaves me a comment about all the stuff I've left behind in here. And I know it's all here. You don't need to tell me about the stuff that's in here. I'm leaving it behind because I know where it is, and it's literally next door to my house. So it does not take very long to come get it if I need it. Apparently no twine. Must not be a hardware store thing. It's thread, but no twine. Oh well. Maybe that other, that like outdoor goods store that we have down the street? That might, have, that might be a place where there's twine. I don't know why I'm working so hard for this. <laughs> it's not like we really have a need for these traps. Here's zombies. Red. 
Twine's little brother. You know what I want? Give me these. Give me the paint. Where's the paint? Black paint. Give me these two things of paint. I got a couple of walls that are white that could use painting. What are you guys doing? Hello. Goodbye. Hello, good fellas. Good ladies. Sorry, don't want to be dismissive of the ladies. They're just as worthy of an axe to the brain as the fellows are. Twine in here. Gray paint. Seeds. Alright. Need to go get my paint brush and we're gonna paint a couple walls real quick before we close up this episode. Do we have anything close to leveling up? Electrical is very close. That's basically it. Oh, hello. Sorry, I was looking at my skills. I'm sure you understand. Paintbrush. Barrels out. Come on. So slow. All right, paint gray, paint black. Just this is basically paint swatches is all I'm doing here. The side thing you do when you're trying to decide what color you want to paint your house. But I am going to close up right here. I'll see you guys next time.